we're here guys. Guess what it is? It's our own storefront. Look how freaking cute it is. <laughs> it is so cute. We'll show you a little sneak peek on the inside. There's no lights yet, so don't touch us. The power's not on yet, but we're gonna give you a little sneak peek because we're gonna do a tour of making room. We're taking out this little short wall with the plumbing in it. And as well as this wall that goes into this creepy sink room. <laughs> so this wall is going to be taken out. This is going to be opened up. We're taking out that water heater and getting a tankless to save us some more room. And then this will be our retail area that will have all of our goodies in. This is going to be completely remodeled. And then as you go back, this is our restroom. And actually, thankfully, it's not that bad. So I just need some paint and some cleanup. But that is good. And then as you go back, there's three offices. This first office is gonna be my office, and then it's gonna have our curing racks in here as well. And I think just office stuff in general will be stored in here. And then the second room will be Corinne's, and this is where we're gonna be shipping everything and the cured stuff. And then this third one will be our storage room, but they put this temporary wall up and they have really low ceilings in here. So we're opening up, taking that middle wall out, opening it up and it'll be great for storage, but I am overall just so excited and to get ready to remodel, remodel it all. We're gonna pick out samples for our floor and paint for the walls right now, so we're gonna take you along with us. When I first started researching what I wanted um, my retail area to look like, I was always drawn to the photos that had really dark floors, light walls, a lot of texture, a lot of black metal, a lot of greenery, um, natural wood colors in them so we went and we got some four samples some paint samples and we brought them back to the shop and we picked out our flooring and our paint so a little backstory about how this all kind of came about um the shop that we were at now we were outgrowing it like crazy and i thought of every single way we could kind of ride it out and stay in there, but there was just no way that we could work out of it functionally and still grow my business. So I had to think of a different wet route. Um, one day my mom came over and was like, there's this super cute building in Waterford um, that's for lease. You should check it out. So I called them that evening and made an appointment to go look at it the next day. So me and my husband go over there the next day and look at it and I really like it. My husband really likes it and I think that it could work. Um, for what I needed but I never ever ever in my life I always said this I never wanted to own a retail store it just, like it seems like a lot of work a lot of pressure a lot more overhead it just I didn't want to do it I was like I'm fine with pop-ups and selling online so I kind of sat on it for a week I showed my family kind of talked about it kind of bounced off ideas and in the end we ended up leasing it and it is the best thing and the scariest thing ever but I'm so happy I did it I think it's going to be really great for our business um, but we got in there as soon as we could and we started remodeling it if you know me I'm a go-getter I don't mess around I don't waste time so here we are my whole my family in the dark the girls sitting in the corner watching the boys work and my sister Jessica <laughs> putting in the floors and we literally scraped some of the paint off the window so we could see because the power was not turned on yet. But overall, I'm so excited and I hope you guys like this journey of start to finish um, opening up a retail store.